Good afternoon. Welcome back to another video, guys. Thank you for being here for my journey, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Just like, share this video out because you know 2024, we got to get the message out because we know big tech, big media is not sharing the truth or want to hear both sides of the aisle. So thank you for joining me for another video, guys. If you like, comment, like, dislike, whatever, guys. Let's join the ride for 2024. Another video here, Trump and his border, Trump basically blasts the so-called bill that is supposed to be going through the Senate in the House as basically BS, trying to, as Biden trying to say, hey, if you guys give me full control of the border, I'll have it shut down. Even though we already got laws and stuff on the books, he can do way more already to close the border and shut the border down. Remain in Mexico, policies, a lot of different things that was already on the books that Biden can do. He just don't want to, as he want to keep Use the border crisis for leverage to fund Ukraine, Israel, and these foreign wars that we just can't not afford to do anymore. But hey, Trump, Trump is getting criticized here as some Republicans, and of course, mostly Democrats, are basically saying Trump is trying to derail his bipartisan bill because he's trying to blame, have all the blame on Biden so he can get reelected which is not the case. Biden, Biden been a disaster more than just the border. Our economy, our foreign world affairs, everything Biden have done the last three years or so has failed. So Trump don't have to worry about or, or doing anything to stop this bill that's basically BS. So let's go over this from the business inside of here, what Trump is saying here. Trump said he will be responsible if the bipartisan Broader security deal fails. He said, blame me if it fails, which it should fail because it's full of crap. Let's go over a little bit of this. Former President Donald Trump said on Saturday he was willing to take responsibility for the potential lives of the bipartisan, bipartisan border deal that's being ironed out in the Senate. During his campaign in Vegas, Trump spoke out against efforts to broker an um, immigration agreement among that the former president sustained attack Joe Biden on the supposed issues. As leader of our party, there is zero chance I will support this horrible open border betrayal of America, the former president said. I will fight it all the way. A lot of the senators are trying to say, respectfully, they are blaming it on me. I said, that's okay, he said. Please blame it on me. And most of this bill, what they're trying to do, of course, with this bipartisan bill to secure the border they're basically trying to put pork and bs into it they're basically trying to say oh we are only allowed five thousand migrants a day to cross the border like they will really hold to just five thousand a day they're also oh well we gotta fund this war we gotta fund this and do that there's so much pork and bs in this bill yes we need a bill that passed congress and be officially on the books. Can't keep having the president have executive orders every time in office. But once the next president of another party come in, he can just kill the executive orders and reimburse everything there. We need a we need a bill to pass Congress and the House to get signed by the president and go on official law that they can't be changed. But we know these bills on both sides, Republicans and Democrats, are full of goddamn shit. It will not benefit the American people. It will benefit the people in Washington and their pockets and, and their lobbyists, of course. It will always affect and kill us. So let's go over this more. Trump have long handled Biden over immigration, arguing that the U.S.-Mexican border is in perilous state given a record number of illegal migrants crossing that have overwhelmed law enforcement agencies. The Biden administration has sought to pivot away from many of the Trump immigration policies but the president had reportedly found out in the middle of the issues, mostly due to the record number of crossing fallout of the GOP governors like Greg Abbott of Texas, who have sent thousands of migrants to Chicago, LA, New York, and Washington State. He's busting them up. That's the only way most GOP governors, like Greg Abbott of Texas, of course, Ron DeSantis up here in Florida, are trying to do. They're still getting the 90, 95% of the migrants. 
put the little one to two percent this into the liberal cities so they can see and feel it for themselves the only way we can get true effect and american people are starting to not only see the problem most of these big major cities they're starting to feel the pain the taxpayer money to take care of these migrants you gotta house them you gotta feed them you gotta everything like that that everything comes out our pocket our dime we gotta feed house take care of illegals in our country where american people are suffering enough already on their own it's already hard out here to feed your family it's already hard to keep house and pay rent it's hard out here to even stay above water for most americans while we now have to take care of people that are not supposed to be here and now in these cities that voted these sanctuary cities that want to help out the migrants and stuff now they're starting to feel some type of way all americans feeling the pain we're basically being invaded and allow any migrants across the border it should be zero speaker of the house mike johnson please you should have shut down the government stop kicking the can down the road stop with these Continue with revolution, shut down the government, and demand the Democrats, no, we will secure the border. Zero people come in, the people that are here will deport them. We need to shut down the border for a couple years, clean up all the legals here, and get America right. But they won't do that, and they want to blame Trump for it, so be it. Like I said, Joe Biden could do a lot. And let's listen as well, what Joe Biden said as well. Just the other day. Let's see. So the guy actually, he can do everything he, and he can do to shut down and secure the border. He passed said, well, give me the power. And I can, nothing I can do, they gotta give me the power. You gave Kamala Harris the duty to be the border, to secure and watch over the border. She haven't done anything at all, haven't even went down to the border to see it at all. You gave it to your vice president. She haven't done or touched or did a damn thing. Now you're saying now, this is just two days ago, guys. I can't, I, nothing I can do. I need, they got to give me the power. They give me the power. I can secure the border today. And this is Speaker Mike Johnson tweeted as well. President Biden said, I done all I can do with executive authority to secure the border, which is bullshit. This is simply untrue. He's either lying or misinformation. Here are some of the few authorities at his disposal, if only he will use them. Presidential authority to resi resist entry a secondary he could do a lot look at this man dating the change room this rendered the top he could do a lot look at this he could do a lot this remain in mexico policies alone that trump had in place he could put that in the migrants say in mexico till we screen them out why they have to be here to, to say hey i'm here hey i'm here for a, a theory okay come on board hey i'm here for a new future. There's all military minded ready men anywhere coming to this country. So why is Joe Biden saying I know that all I can do as president and no more I can do when he can do a lot. He can tame, he can be poor. He can attain them and send them right back to the country. He can remain in Mexico policies. There's many laws and regulations on the border. I mean on the on the books as it is. But he won't do it. He's using the border as leverage to fund his BS foreign wars so they can get their cut, 10%, get his cut back. But it is what it is. And like I said, Trump is blasting whatever bill that's trying to go through the Senate and the House. Mike, Speaker Mike Johnson said any bill that comes to the House base is dead on arrival. He said a lot of BS before and he'll chicken out in the last second to sign it probably if it do come, if it do go through the Senate and go to the House. But we will see, guys. What do you guys think? Excellent. What's the border crisis? Texas to stand off with the federal government. Time to secure Texas. Federal agents basically still time to take control of the border. Hopefully we don't have no incident there, but we will see the Joe Biden basically that he they backing off now, even though people are still coming through the border. They're still processing people through the border, but 
we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, we get a resolution about this, but we don't know. 2024 has been crazy. Just starting off one month in. We'll see. But guys, what do you guys think? You think Joe Biden, Democrats, he, he done did everything he can do? Or you think Trump, right, hey, don't support any of these BS bills or full report. It's only going to hurt the American people. And Trump, like I said, he's the leader. Anything go wrong, blame it on me. And that's what leadership we need right now more than ever. If we might have a civil war, who knows what's going overseas with World War III possibly. We need true leadership. Somebody could take responsibility if something go wrong, anything go right. So what do you guys think? Like, comment, share, subscribe, share this video out, guys. And let me know in the comment section what you think about this border crisis. We got war, we got war, we got world crisis. We got a lot going on. We just gotta maintain, speak out, 